Welcome everyone to another video. Today I wanted to check out how voice recognition was working 20 years ago. Even while I was still in school, quite a fan of the latest and greatest state-of-the-art technologies and therefore was interested in voice recognition. And brought this here new, I brought even via voice the first one or 95 or what this was. And here a newer one via voice 98 for 99 Deutschmark. So 50 euro plus inflation. It was working for the most part but somehow it did not really fit too well to my workflow anyway. I did not even make the greatest use out of this. However nowadays I'm using voice recognition only very little. Mostly to tell Siri to call someone and then even it doesn't work half of the time. So I wanted to do two things. First of all I wanted to see how well this was actually working 20 years ago. So this is a 20 year old system. 550 megahertz AMD K62, slightly overclocked it was, rated 500. Quite some memory, 256 or something. S3 graphic card, which doesn't matter too much. I just picked here something that had drivers and Windows NT4. I intentionally installed here Windows NT4 for the period that it hopefully really works. 3Com cards, it was slightly pain to get working. All the others didn't work for some strange Windows NT reason. And uh, Sound Blaster. AWE64 ISA card that just happens to work. I hope the drivers are mostly matching here in Windows NT4. I installed this specifically so that we have a real system running, not that people say, yeah, but my virtualized system is running way faster or that we ruin the results because microphone capturing does not work so well with microphone gain and micro latencies and jittering and dropouts and whatsoever. So I wanted to real, as you have seen in my last videos, I have here quite some vintage systems in my archive in the meantime. I wanted to use the real thing, so let's install it and see how that goes. It's the minimum requirement 166 megahertz Pentium with MMX. So we are a little bit over that, because obviously we don't want to have it the most lagging. But a current iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy and such, the CPUs are way faster than this. So with this AMD K6 550 we are still way slower than all the current smartphones actually are. Let's install it. I never installed it in English, obviously. Unfortunately, the Windows is in German, as, as this is a original copy that I purchased as student. Because it irritates me a little bit that this was working quite well 20 years ago. And I really wonder, well, do we really need to transfer all the waste data into the cloud? Also, all this unnecessary communication, not only that the companies have all your data and communications, it also consumes quite a bit of bandwidth in the internet. Of course, this is not so much, but given how many billions of people run it each day, that is quite a bit, of course, on top of all the other stuff. Not to mention that even the FaceTime audio and voice is, as far as I heard, running through Apple proxies because they lost some lawsuit of peer-to-peer -peer communication. This is also a little bit stupid that we overload the networks uh, or have bottlenecks in the Apple data center only because of some stupid software patent. But I digress. As I said today, we want to take a look on voice recognition and if it would not be possible to run it on the phone. And actually in earlier days, before Siri, Apple has run the simple voice commands on even an iPhone 4 or what it was back in that day. Actually wondering if they removed this simple voice commands fully. Given how well this was running back in the day, I think 20 years ago, on this was slow winter chart where a single core, even not even quad core or whatever the latest smartphones, maybe with 2 gigahertz and such, and plenty of more memory. As far as I remember, this had to be trained slightly to the user, but I do not find this so bad. Actually, I would prefer if I could train my iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy just to me. Also, not only that other people can communicate less easily and less perfectly with my own smartphone, but also it may be able to improve recognition accuracy quite a bit. And in any case, I wouldn't mind if a via voice Siri kind of voice recognition running directly on the iPhone needs a day or two to really adapt to me. I would prefer this much more, especially if it potentially would even work better than it currently does. So, Kundenprofil. We um, really need to fill out all the stuff. Huh? I really want street here, huh? Holy, do they want a lot of data. And of course, not uncommon for the time trying to get the people install Acrobat. 
just in case actually maybe I install it I could actually test our generated PDFs of our software if they look correctly and display and work correctly on this old Acrobat with Windows NT4 if I feel like that another day and of course the uh, obligatory restart of your PC back in the day even with Windows NT4 I, by the way, intentionally used Windows NT4, but also used Windows 95 that I also have here. But I intentionally wanted to use a more professional protected mode system, just in case, and have a test install here on a, one of the spare hard drives. This package, of course, comes with an official headset that in the meantime disintegrates. So here is already this awesome foam disintegrated, stickily, obviously. I'm surprised that this foam is okay. But only the piercing here falls apart. Let me shortly clean up this mess. So these are old-fashioned microphone things here. So two separate jacks for microphone and speaker actually. Interesting that the microphone has stereo. Hmm. Okay, whatever. This looks like this here in case that is slightly stable. So speaker I thought I installed English, did I not choose English? I hope that would support more than German on this actually. Uh, just started the setup again, this of course a little bit of a fail that this were only the license agreements, license agreement. That is of course really ridiculous that you can read the license agreement in English and only have the speech recognition in German. I really hate this by the way, this is not only um, back in the day, but maybe this is even this is even still today. Okay, maybe they changed it with Windows 10 or something, but until some years ago you always had the localized windows only in this single language, so it was really annoying and I also don't like this here that this is of course really a fail now if you want to make more use of this after some years later that you only have one language. At least I can show you uh, here microphone setup. Check one, two, three. What is? Ich teste die Einrichtung des Mikrofons. Biologin. Mikroskop. Rufzeichen. Augen. Okular. Orientieren. Lassen Sie Ihren Computer die mechanische Schreibarbeit erledigen. Ausrufezeichen. Lassen Sie Ihre Mitarbeiter zukünftig interessantere Tätigkeiten ausüben. Ausrufezeichen. Unfortunately, as you have seen, it's in German, which I did not expect. Um, yeah, old-fashioned software distribution. I think in English it would have been more awesome for the international audience, but anyway, as I started to film this already, let's give it a short try. Dies ist ein kurzer Test, wie gut das Diktieren ohne erstem Training funktioniert. Punkt. Neuer Absatz. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren. Komma. Neuer Absatz. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma. Neuer Absatz, René Rebe. Ist ein kurzer Test, Komma, wie gut das Diktieren ohne erstem Training funktioniert, Punkt. So actually, there are a little bit some small mistakes. I mean, this here, uh, the standard sentences work quite well. And um, this here was not perfect. Uh, yes, uh, kitchen instead of dictation, but I skipped the first training, so maybe I also need to put my name into there. But in general, this is about what I remembered that, of course, with a training it will be better, but in general, it was possible to dictate in 1998. Given that we have now 2018, 20 years later, I really think it is not necessary that we send all the speech data to cloud servers and. Um, this should really be changed urgently and users should demand this. I don't think this is state of the art and 
how things should be done, given that this is running on an AMD K6 550. So this is, oh, it's, is it even 512 megahertz of RAM? That would be quite a bit for this old system. Anyway, modern smartphones have four times as much, at least usually, and way faster CPUs. So in my opinion, we all as a society should really demand such a change, especially for our privacy in this day and age. We'll probably try to go relatively quickly through this training set and, and see how, how it works after this first registration training and probably record a little bonus snippet after this. And I also have a much newer speech recognition from only maybe 10 years ago. So I will probably film a second video then, but then I need to upgrade the system a little bit to 2000 megahertz AMD Athlon or so and Windows 7 or so for this much newer speech recognition. So I hope you enjoyed this video and my various topics. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come. Stellen Sie sich vor, Komma. Eine Biologin arbeitet an einem Mikroskop. Punkt. Okay, I spoke about half to 105 from 256. Thanks God we can already start some pre-training because it gets a little bit tiresome, also a little bit time consuming. What did they say? 10 to 20 minutes or something? Let's see how this 550 megahertz AMD K6 is crushing through this. So let's see how it performs after the first training. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Komma, mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma, neuer Absatz, René Rebe. Okay, here, probably didn't dictate the paragraph, um, but aside from this, dies ist ein Test, Komma, wie gut das Diktieren nach dem ersten kurzen Training funktioniert, Punkt. This is actually error free, this isn't. Yeah, this is about what I remember from back in the day that for the most part it worked. Obviously. Yeah, I need to add my name to the dictionary. Let's see how this is going. Wait, why is it? Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Komma, neuer Absatz. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma, neuer Absatz, René Rebe. Okay, was ist mein Name? Das ist nicht der most happy. Und why ist mein Akzent disappearing, wenn ich korrigiert habe? Hm, some text exchange here between the two things, not Unicode. A very strange thing. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Komma, neuer Absatz. Dies ist ein kurzer Text zum Test. Punkt, neuer Absatz. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma, neuer Absatz, René Rebe. René. Yeah, here is a Unicode accent thing is getting lost really strange. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma, neuer Absatz, René Rebe. Hey, no, this Unicode transfer thing worked funny enough. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, Komma, neuer Absatz. Ich möchte Ihnen kurz etwas diktieren, Punkt. Nur so für einen kurzen Test, Punkt, neuer Absatz. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Komma, neuer Absatz, René Rebe. So, quite error-free. Also, got my name mostly trained. Yeah, 1998, voice and speech recognition, back to the future, and again. In my opinion, demand cloudless speech recognition from your Windows if you want to use it for anything serious. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I have a 10-year newer voice recognition. Probably I give it a try next.